I think if you don't have that, if they don't have a hunger outside of money or the outcome they're looking for, then I think that ultimately you can achieve it, but it will feel empty. And I think that you'll never get true loyalty from people around you because everyone can sense what you're really after. It's actually interesting because when we were creating our core values for acquisition.com, we were factoring in what makes a successful CEO, which is really just like what makes a successful person and a successful employee. And so when I think of the three factors that create a successful CEO, I think of one being competitively great, which is uh, I got that from John Wooden because he has the pyramid of competitive greatness. And basically it's all the qualities that add up to the top, which is competitive greatness, which is really just loving the game for the game itself, not for the outcome the game gives you. And that's what I think is the number one trait of a good CEO or a great CEO. I think if you don't have that, if they don't have a hunger outside of money or the outcome they're looking for, then I think that ultimately you can achieve it, but it will feel empty. And I think that you'll never get true loyalty from people around you because everyone can sense what you're really after. The second one would be sincere candor. I think that when you see like, especially like you see the Elon Musks and the Steve Jobs, and like you see all these iconic CEOs, but they're like not the best with people. What you don't see is that they're actually surrounded very tightly by people who are great with people. Most CEOs actually are not quite like them. They're actually quite people oriented. They're more servant leaders. And so if you study, like if you read anything from Jim Collins, like he basically breaks that down, which is like you see a lot of the anomalies. Because they're anomalies, they're put on a pedestal, right? It's very interesting. But most CEOs are actually more servant leaders, and so they're very sincerely candorous. And when I say that, I mean that they're able to deliver hard messages in a way that does not make people feel badly about themselves, right? That doesn't breach trust, that actually makes a better relationship. And so there is a way in which you can create you can give feedback that is, quote, negative, but actually build a better relationship through delivering that feedback. And I think that that is one of the qualities of a great CEO. Lastly to that, I would just say unimpeachable character. As much as people want to think that what you do behind closed doors does not affect how people perceive you in the workplace is exactly the opposite, which is the key that so many people are missing is they can show up, they can be on time to every meeting, they can do everything they say they're going to do, they can uphold all their promises, but when they know you're doing X, Y, Z outside of work, maybe cheating on your wife, not attending to this, like super unhealthy, like whatever it may be, it just taints their vision of you. And so I think that you really have to think about being almost an inspiration in all ways for your team and for a company. And I consider that to be unimpeachable character. It means like people are proud to associate with you in work and outside of work because of the person you are. What's up guys? Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for being on this channel. Um, I wanted to ask if you could do me a favor, which is I put these videos out just to help you guys. And what helps me the most is if I get feedback. So if you like this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you liked about it. If you didn't like this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you didn't like about it. I would super appreciate it. Thank you so much. I will see you on the next one.